Let's once again see if we can order now a different set of decimals from least to greatest. And once again, I encourage you to pause this video and try to do this on your own. So let's go to the most significant place, the ones place here. They, none of these have any ones. So then we can go to the next signif most significant place, which is the tenths place. This has five tenths. This has six tenths. This has one tenth. This has five tenths. This has one tenth. So if we just look at the tenths place, the ones that have the fewest tenths, this has only one tenth. This one only has one tenth. This one has five tenths. This one has five tenths. And then this one has six tenths. So I've ordered it by what's going on in the tenths place. Now, both of these have the same number of tenths. Let's move to the hundredths place to figure out which of these is larger. This one has six hundredths. This has five hundredths. So this one is larger. It has more hundredths. Same number of tenths, more hundredths. And hundredths are obviously more significant than thousandths. So it doesn't matter which one has the more thousandths. It matters that this one has more tenths. And actually, this one has more thousandths as well. But now let's go look at these two. These have the same number of tenths. They both have five tenths. But this one has six hundredths, while this one only has two hundredths. So this one is larger. And then finally, this one, of course, had six tenths. So this one had the most tenths. So we don't even have to look at the other places here. And we're done.